Hi guys, welcome back to how to I'm Shubham and sorry for all the delays in the video but I'll try to be consistent from now onwards. I have a request to make you all please like this video, subscribe this channel as it is free and also comment in order to help us get some engagement traction from YouTube. So in this video I'll be showing you all how to upload any image or file using Ajax and save it on the storage of uh, the Django as in uh, the storage disk using Django so here as we can see a file has been uploaded as we get success response and this is my uh, link to that file so what we'll do we'll start by creating uh, okay so here is my folder I have already created my virtual environment and I have activated it and installed it, uh, Django to show you all here is the list of all the installed packages in the directory now what I'll do is I'll start by creating the project Django admin start project uh, I'll call it as ajax file uploader upload we'll go into that folder and we'll create uh, an app called python start app i'll name this as file upload okay so now we have an app project called ajax file upload and app called file upload so let's connect them together in order to do that we'll bring up my vs code there we go open folder here we go So first we'll move to settings.py and we'll install our newly created app that is file upload. We need to do some configurations before we can start with the uh, actual work. So the configurations are we are going to import OS. Let me bring this on top. And then we are going to create few directories. Templates directory will be os.path.join which will take in the base directory and, and templates so, so i'll create a folder called as templates over here which is this which will be connected to this and we are going to install this template directory in into your templates directories we are also going to specify media urls so how to specify that uh, i'll do media underscore url will be media why i do this is because i want to store all the uploaded files over here in this directory and also specify media root this will also take os.path.join base directory comma media so this is done now now we can get started we'll start by creating the model first and it will be class file model this will take models dot model we will create our file field for doc which will be models dot file file field and it will have one parameter which is upload to which will go to media so all the documents uploaded on this uh, on in this model uh, will be uploaded to media directory so our model has been created now we'll go to view and we'll create some views uh, first we'll create the index which will load our html page we'll create the html page soon and this will return render 
template name will be I'll call it as index.html and the request will be the request so let's quickly create our index.html inside templates.py so index.html and start by this I'll, I'll show you all the main thing and I'll do the cosmetics later I'll start by creating I'll import the bootstrap so here we go bootstrap I'll call this as file upload and now and we'll container a row column a dash four and we'll have a label over here called upload file we'll have a input which will be a type file and it will have a id called file and we'll have a button called submit form so if we have a look at it uh, right now let me run this first let me run this first i can manage that i run server yes I, I don't have my migration supplied here we go since i have not created the url so it will take me to the default one so let's go to urls.py we'll import from uh, our app is called file upload i want to import the views and i'll create a blank path so whenever it comes here it will go to views dot index so here we go now we'll do the uh, now we'll import the ajax part so first of all let me import the jquery that is done now okay so i'll create a js function called as function upload file with zero parameters it will have a ajax call so i'll do that ajax uh, it will have method which is type post since I want post uh, URL I'll create a new URL for this so this will be called as upload then we have some things that are actually required while sending the file onto the backend so we have to that process data will be false then content type will be also false then my my type will be multi-part multi-part slash form data since we are going to send the file as append uh, as in form and then data will be i'll create this data right? data and once we get success which is also a function uh, success will have something a response so i'll i'll just log this control log so now we want to append now we want to submit the file while doing the ajax call so that will be uh, by using form so I'll create a variable called where data, which is a new form data, 
then we are going to append something called as data dot append i'll call it as file which will be just take note of this oh sorry i'll increase the font size so this will be since it's input whose id is id is equal to file i want to select the input whose id is equal to file and it will consist of it is list so i'll select the zeroth one and from that since it's file type so i'll select the files zero so this will help me that and also when we are doing this we need uh, to pass the csrf so instead of exempting the csrf we are going to append it now that will be in and we'll use the csrf underscore token so our ajax function is ready now let me do some cosmetic changes So after the cosmetic changes it looks something like this and only one small thing that is left over to be done is on button click we want to call this function so that we will do the ajax post call so here we go on click call this upload file function that's it on the front end side now we'll go to the back end side so that we can create uh, the definition uh, create the function so that we can upload the file so here we go we'll call it as upload file this will take in the request we will get the file from the request so request dot files dot get since i have called it as file so it will be file now we are going to import some things so we are going to first of all import the file storage system then we are going to import the json response and then we are going to import the file model so we'll start by creating a file system file storage system we call it fss now in this we'll create the file name first fss dot save save the file dot name and with the file then we are going to get the url which will be fss dot url and it will take the parameter of file name so that's it the file has been uploaded now it will upload with the help of this code now we want to save that onto this model so we'll copy this file model dot we'll create an object of it create and the parameter will be the parameter this file that is doc doc will be equal to this newly created url and what we are going to return is return json response which has link my head link of the uploaded file now that we have created this we are going to create the url for it so we are going to call it as upload which will be views dot 
अपलोड फाइल नेम अपलोड फाइल नेम सो दिस इज द फंक्शन फंक्शन नेम एंड वाई वी आर कॉलिंग इट इज अपलोड बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग द सेम ओवर इयर नो द कोडिंग पार्ट इज डन बाय द वे यू ऑल कैन चेक दिस कोड ऑन माई गिट हब रेपो द लिंक विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो ना वी हैव टू अप्लाई द माइग्रेशन फॉर दैट पाइप एंड मैनेज डॉट पाइप फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट द माइग्रेशन पाइप द कमांड मेक माइग्रेशन दिस इज डन ना will apply the migrations by the command migrate and and also uh, we will run the server and check it out if it is working or not and not created any system while coding this i did two mistakes one is in the urls dot py after the path of upload we need to put a slash so you can do that and in the ajax under the function we need to separate this by a comma so these are the two changes that have been done and also will register the newly created admin side uh, sorry newly created model on the admin side so for that we are going to import so from dot model because we are in the same directory i'm going to import the file model and then we are going to register admin dot site dot register the file model after that we stop this we'll create a super user python manage dot py create super user i'm going to create admin since i already have created admin so i'll create admin 2 i'll keep this blank i'll keep yes and now we'll run the server and if we go over here select any file and inspect before that click on form submit Oh, we got a refresh, and you can see the file has been. We get a success response two hundred, and we get the link that we specified in the return statement. So that means our object has also been created in the app. So we will use the admin. We'll go to this model. and you can see our image has been uploaded our object has been created and if we go to that project folder and media you can see our images has been uploaded so this is it right for this video guys uh, i hope you have understood how to upload any file or image using ajax on the django and save it on the disk so if you have any questions do ask them in the comments and also uh, suggest me some topics for the next video and please do subscribe to this channel because that will help me a lot thank you bye bye